My name is Kiriaki Carvelis. My students call me Mrs. K. I live in the Livingston District and I worked in the Battlefield District. Dr. Mitchell, at your last listening session, you mentioned how you were assaulted as an educator and your experience, and I'm gonna quote you on this. You said, it's just part of the job. No, it isn't. Getting assaulted by a student is not just part of the job. How many times did you call for help by, after getting assaulted by the same student? I called for five months. For five months, I asked for help. On December 13th of last year, my students and I were assaulted by a student with a behavior issue. Our SRO has video footage if you need to see it. For a little over five months, I did my best to keep my students safe. We practiced evacuation drills, and we needed to use them several times with safe words. This went on again for over five months. On April 22nd, I was assaulted for the last time by the same student. I had been telling administrators that I will leave. I will not be assaulted at school every week and I cannot keep 24 students safe from one student. After my first incident with this student, I told my administrator that I was going to send an email to the parents to let them know what had happened. She told me to refrain from sending anything because they're first graders and they're not going to tell anyone at home. And she was correct. I got one email from one parent asking what happened. I have 17 documented incidents with this student. The parents watching at home, I'm sorry I couldn't keep your kids safe from this student. I did my best. I spoke to HR regarding the issue. I spoke to Ms. Amy Williams and Ms. Holly Boone. They agreed that no one should have to work in those conditions and they would do what they can. Two days later, I got a call saying, you either return to the classroom and continue doing what's happening or stay home. I asked for a position in the school to finish out my contract, and they denied it. I made numerous attempts to try and return to work. I asked for someone in the classroom to ensure the safety of these children, and no one came to the rescue. For the record, when I asked for help in making phone calls, it took seven minutes for someone to get to my classroom while children were injured, traumatized, crying hysterically, I'm ashamed that I worked in this district. Ms. Carvalis. And after returning from my vacation on August 2nd to check my emails, I was locked out of everything. I reached out to you, Dr. Daniels, and asked you what happened. And you sent me a termination letter a month later after I requested it. Nothing was mailed to my home I had to log into my accounts to find out I got fired, even after signing an intent to return. And last week, speaking to Ms. Amy Williams, I found out verbally that I was terminated because of a job abandonment after several attempts to return. Ms. Carvelis, your time has expired. I understand. Dr. Mitchell? Your attitude with the email that I sent, this, it wasn't on my watch, I wasn't superintendent, so it's not my problem. That's not how you start a new job. It doesn't matter if you weren't superintendent. It should be your concern. These are children. And you all need to stop using the schools as a platform and a stepping stone to climb that political ladder. Stop standing on the children's backs to climb that ladder. Thank you.